there's a good chance that you have seen this chart over here, right? This is the cryptocurrency market cap, which in total is going down. There's even a chance that you've seen a modified version of this. This is total three. So this is cryptocurrencies market cap minus Bitcoin's market cap and minus Ethereum's market cap. But a chart that you've probably not seen yet is total three divided by Bitcoin's market cap. So how is the altcoin market doing relative to Bitcoin during this crash? And this is very, very interesting, right? When we look at this, since the 12th of June, we have seen an outperformance of the altcoins versus Bitcoin of 22%. Now, why is that so interesting? Because Bitcoin went down during this time, right? Quite massively. We are now at 20.9K. Bitcoin fell by 27% roughly. And one might expect that the altcoins, they tend to move more, right? So when prices tend to go up, the altcoins should gain more. When prices tend to fall, the altcoins should lose more. But that's not what we are saying. We see an impressive drop in Bitcoin and an impressive drop in the alts, but the alts still outperform Bitcoin. The alts fall less. And now the big question is, why is that the case? Have we seen something like this before? And there's a lot of speculation around the why, right? So for example, one might argue we have already seen quite a destruction in capital for the alts, right? So when we look at the top here on the 8th of November, 2021, all the way to today, the altcoin market cap went down by 67%. The prices of those altcoins tended to go down even more, right? Because altcoins tend to be inflationary in nature. So even the market cap went down only by 67%. Chances are that your individual altcoin portfolio is maybe down by 80% or 85%. So one argument might be, okay, when we're already down that much, now it doesn't even worth it anymore to sell. Another argument is that over the long term, people might still be somewhat bullish. Or in other words, retail hasn't kept capitulated lead. So I've made different surveys over here on YouTube. And recently, so just four hours ago, I asked, how long will Bitcoin fall? Where do you see will be the bottom? When does it finally recover? And 20% think we've already seen the low. More people think we might fall further to maybe 15K or 10K. But what's most interesting around this survey is most people do not think that Bitcoin in itself has failed, that it will never recover. And that's, I think, an interesting takeaway here, right? Most people think crypto is still intact. Bitcoin or crypto will not go to zero. So it's just a matter of time until everything recovers. This is pretty different to the 2018 crash to the crypto winter. A lot of people at that time thought that the market won't recover at all anymore. That it's not just a temporary crash, but that the technology in itself has failed, that adoption has failed. That it's just a fad, basically. That's currently not the sentiment at all. 94% of people think Bitcoin is just temporarily in a bottom and that it will recover. And that might explain why people don't necessarily feel inclined to sell at low levels like this. Now, there is a cautionary tale though, and this is how actually the crypto winter in 2018 started. So this is again the Bitcoin chart and let's look at when exactly that top happened. So the highest price was on the 16th of December of 2017. That was for Bitcoin. Now what happened for the altcoins? When did they see their peak? For that, let's look again at the total cryptocurrency market cap, go all the way back to 2017. And the peak that we find over here is on the 7th of January 2018. So roughly three weeks after Bitcoin peaked, that's when the altcoins peaked. So there was a delay happening. First, people got cautious of Bitcoin. And even though the alts tend to be more risky, they crashed afterwards. Now, will this happen again? Now that Bitcoin has underperformed the alts in those last five days, maybe, right? It depends on whether or not retail will capitulate and whether or not people still believe in their specific altcoin projects over the long term. Now, I don't have an answer to this, right? I simply present the data here. I simply find it interesting to see what's going on. I also find it interesting to compare this simply to what happened in the past. And I don't know if this will go down again 
again if the altcoins are going to crash at least in a similar fashion to how Bitcoin has crashed. Historically what happened is when Bitcoin was in the winter that the altcoins went down more. Right, so let's look at the development of the overall crypto winter from the top over here for Bitcoin all the way to the bottom. We see a loss of 83% roughly. When we look at Ethereum, for example, during the same time period, Ethereum went down by 94%. What about Cardano? Cardano was also a high flyer during the time. Cardano went down by 98% almost. So that's what happened historically. Historically, Bitcoin outperformed during bearish times during this initial crash here. That's definitely not the case. So what can we do with this data? It depends on how you see the current market environment, right? If you do think that Bitcoin is going to recover from here. Because one other interesting data point is the stablecoin dominance. So this is now a measure of the overall cryptocurrency market cap that's currently in Tether, in DAI and in USDC. So we are looking here at three major stable coins and on the right axis over here we've got a measure in percent. So currently 15.2% of all of crypto is locked up in those three stable coins. And we can see over the long term, this is increasing, which does make sense, right? More and more people are actively speculating on crypto. They're not just buying and holding. So an increased adoption of stable coins makes sense. But we can also see a wave form building over here, right? Sometimes the stable coin dominance is high, sometimes it's low. Currently, it's as high as it has ever been. So it's really, really high. So when we look at these prior peaks, right? For example here on the 20th of July 2021 when we compare this to let's say the total cryptocurrency market cap how did it look on the 20th of July this is what we are getting a very low point so when stablecoin dominance is high the prices of all of crypto tend to be low and vice versa so let's look at this right let's look at the other side so stablecoin dominance is pretty low on the 8th of November 2021. The 8th of November was a high point over here in the total cryptocurrency market cap. So the question is, do you believe that this trend here will continue? As in, are we now that elevated in stablecoin dominance that we could potentially go down here, which would then mean that the cryptocurrency prices go up, which would then indicate that we might have already seen the bottom for Bitcoin, for Ethereum, for the altcoins. Nobody knows this for sure, of course, right? But it's simply interesting to see different perspectives and to maybe adjust dollar cost averaging in and dollar cost averaging out based on different models. This video is simply to provide more data to help your decision-making process. I make videos like this regularly, so don't forget to subscribe. A like, of course, would be appreciated as well. It will help the channel grow. And if you haven't yet joined our Telegram group, feel free to simply search for Bitcoin strategy channel within the Telegram app. There are more than 2,000 people over there now. Last but not least, there's a premium membership. More information is over here. Hope to see you in that video and thanks for watching this one. Bye-bye.